Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Sense Think Act podcast. I'm Audrey Nash, and in this episode, I'm going to be introducing the Sense Think Act podcast. So, this podcast will feature longer interviews on various topics in robotics. So, I'll speak with people that are starting robotics companies, larger robotics companies, um, researchers, both in academia and in industry people that are involved with robotics and government, as well as people like people that are using robotics in art or philosophers that discuss robotics. Really anyone that I think will make an interesting interview for you all. This podcast is going to be for roboticists, as well as anyone that is interested in robotics, but doesn't necessarily have any robotics knowledge. So for roboticists, we hope that this podcast helps them understand different things that are happening in robotics outside of their own focused area. For everyone else, those without robotics backgrounds, we hope that this is an accessible way to understand what's going on in robotics, as well as its limitations and potential. And one way that we're going to make this podcast accessible is to explain technical concepts as we go. Um, so that way we don't leave anyone in the dark. This is also good for roboticists because this is a very large field and someone from legged mo locomotion may not understand um, terms used by the computer vision community, say. Now, um, this podcast is sponsored by Open Robotics, which is where I work as a software engineer. Open Robotics makes um, open source robotic software. Uh, you may be familiar with their robot operating system or their simulator, Ignition Gazebo. Um, this podcast isn't going to be limited talk to talking about topics that relate to things that Open Robotics makes. Um, so we have free reign to talk about everything. For me, I have been involved in robotics for maybe eight years, mostly as a researcher in academia. Um, as I mentioned, I'm currently working at Open Robotics. And I was previously involved in RoboHub's robot podcast, um, where I led it for maybe five years. And um, I'm very happy for this opportunity and the support of Open Robotics to make this podcast. I'm very excited to try longer interviews. And I just enjoy learning through conducting interviews and sharing that with the greater public. So next, where did we get the name Sense Think Act podcast? So robots can be thought of as machines that sense the world, think about what they see, and then act upon the world, maybe by moving themselves or by moving something else, for example. And um, in school, many roboticists may, were probably taught that this is a fundamental control loop that you can think of for roboticists. So because this is going to be a general robotics podcast, we thought it was an appropriate name. Now, you can watch this podcast on YouTube and maybe Vimeo in the near future. And you should be able to listen to this podcast on all major podcasting platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, etc. Um, for comments, you can, of course, comment on YouTube. But um, we will be using the Ross discourse for comments with the category Sense Think Act. Um, and you can, so you can leave comments there, such as thoughts on a specific episode or general feedback or suggestions on things you would like us to cover. Now, you can also access that through the Sense Think Act website at sensethinkact.com. And um, well, that's all I have for today. So thank you to our founding sponsor, Open Robotics, and I'll see you every two weeks for a new interview. Make sure to subscribe if you want notifications. Goodbye, everyone.